Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Dragon Films. So last time, we did the Pirates as part of the Wind Orb section. And we do normally have a choice out of which one. But I'm going to be covering both of them. So today we're going to be doing the Ninjas. The Ninjas of the Shadow of the Wind Village need your help. It seems that a thief has stolen the legendary Jewel of Four Winds from the ruins of Cardana. It's up to you to investigate. But not all is as it first seems. Who is behind the theft of the treasure of the Shurnuff? Alright, so we'll head on over to Tython and do his quests. Uh, before we start, this quest here is like an optional sort of repeatable quest. It's not really part of the storyline, so I'm not going to bother doing it. I've got your first mission, Midnight. For many years, the pirates have ruled the seas around Shurnuff Island. Their control of the seas make it very difficult for us to get supplies to our village and get send and get send our ninjas to far off missions. But we have secretly been working on a new boat design. Enchanted with our own wind magic. Follow me, I'll explain more when we get to the harbour. Nestled in this cove is the vessel called the castle. The vessel was made by Gessel von Tressel. The best selling vessel maker. LOL. She named the vessel for her husband, Kessel von Tressel, who used to sumo wrestle. <laughs> this is the prototype for our secret weapon. The ship has been enchanted with our wind ninja magic to move faster than any other ship we've built. It only requires a crew of one. I'd like you to test the ship, mid nerd. See if you can get through the power blockade under the expected time. Then the ship is a success. This will be a dangerous mission. The pirates may try and board the ship to destroy it. And it moves very high speeds. One wrong turn in your shark bait. Oh. Uh, and try not to scratch the paint. No promises. So you've got to dodge everything. I usually stay at the top and just move when I have to. Quite straightforward to be honest. Shit. And if you accidentally get hit, you have to. Well, you have to kill them, obviously. Then it. Ooh! Spinning round. It gives you like extra two seconds. Just so it's not a bit unfair. Am I gonna be able to slinky through these? <laughs> yes, actually. I'm very surprised I thought the game. Why did that happen? We made it, yes. I'm invincible. <laughs> Very well done, Midnight. You have proven that the castle is faster than any other ship of the of the curse of Shurnuff. You have also proven your worthy and loyalty to the Shadow of the Wind clan. You are now one of us. Unfortunately, the ship couldn't handle the stress of the test. The ship has basically fallen apart beneath your feet. We will have to rebuild the entire vessel. But when we do, and you're a brave ninja that I asked to be a late test pilot. Midnight, the ninja without fear. That's what I'm going to be called from now on. You've succeeded in running the ninja's new ship, the Kessel, through the pirate's blockade faster than any other craft has. You may have destroyed the ship, but you have earned Titan's trust and respect with your coverage and skill. C courage So the hunt begins. Now that you are proving yourself to the clan, I have a task for you, Minnerd. The source of fighting between the pirates and ourselves is known to us as the Jewel of Four Winds. It is a powerful item that gives those who hold it control of the winds. The symbol pirates want it for their own reasons. For well, whomever controls the winds, controls the seas, but they know nothing of its true power. For centuries, we have Clem closely guarded the secrets of the ninja wing magics that are, I think I'm supposed to say wind that have made us such a powerful clan. But if we had to gain control of the jewel of the four winds, then our magic would grow a thousandfold. We would be the unquestioned rulers of this island and the most powerful ninja clan in law. I'm pretty sure it's like the only ninja clan, but I don't know. The jewelers kept secret inside the ruins of Cardana, at the centre of the island, for longer than anyone can remember. 
all of our attempts to recover it has ended badly. But now, a man named Drakath has taken the jewel from his nesting place. I see by your face that you know this man. That is good. I want you to find him. He has been clever enough to escape our spies so far. Your spies will be very dumb then, because Drakath's an idiot. You must go to the ruins of Cardana and pick up and pick up him trail there. Hunt him down like the animal that he is. Return the jewel to me. By any means necessary. Now go. Okay. I'm gonna go this side this time. You hear a female voice. Hello, is someone there? I can't quite see. Be careful of the defense drones. I can't can't Zzz. Yellow switch activated. And the blue switch activated. Stranger, take care. The fear force bridge is not as reliable as it once was. Oh, oh, oh. Sneevels? Why do they have to be Sneevels? Uh, I think everyone's wondering that. Especially when the level one. Still. You made it. I uh, thank the maker. I'm Cardana. I'm sure you have many questions. And like, I will answer what I can. Jewel of Four Winds? I know that the Jewel of Four Winds has been taken from here by a man called Draka. I need to get it back. Jewel of Four Winds? Oh, that's what those ninjas call it. It's actually the Wind Orb. It's a very powerful magical item and it was once by Power Source. A kind priest brought it here to hide it and allowed me to use it for power. He came just as the last of my Power Cells were dying. Thanks to him, I was able to charge my cells again. And I've been operating off power, off the power of the other several hundred years. But now that it has been taken, my power cells will die. A few hundred years? I don't think he'll be coming back for it. Yes, he warned me that he might not return for the orb and left me to protect it. He said that keeping the wind orb and the white dragon box together in his temple was a bad idea. He said that he had been searching for a safe secret place for the orb for years, until he met me. I was not able to keep it safe from him, I'm afraid. When the other man took it, um, he headed north from here, toward the camp of the Kuchino Kami. After that, my sentence failed. I'm sorry that I couldn't give you more information than that. That's alright, you've helped a lot, and don't feel bad about losing it. You kept it safe for longer than most people could. Thank you. I have to stress how powerful the wind orb is. In the right hands, it could cause limitless havoc. If the power of the wind orb, or any other orbs, is misused, it would be disas no, disastrous. <laughs> Give the orb back at all costs. If I since I had enough power, I could tell you exactly where he is, but I can't. I'm sorry. It's alright, Cardana. You've told me everything I need to know. I'll get that all back from Drakath. According to Cordana, Drakath took the Jewel of the Four Winds further than her failing sensors could reach. It was last seen heading north towards Okami no Kuchi's. We now turn to Titan with this information. Level 31 ring. Why is it really bad? Is that really bad even though it's still 31? Oh, it's a hell of a lot better than what we got. I mean, that's level 3. Alright, so return the scrolls. Gordana said that Drakath headed north. He was making his way to our clan's oldest foe. A devil fox or called Kuchino Kami. This thief stole many of our most prized ninja scrolls a long time ago. We have made several attempts to get the scrolls back, but Kuchino Kami moves them every few days. He always keeps them close. If Drakath can lead you to Kuchino Kami, then our mission is to get our scrolls back to the pride of the clan. Return once you have found Drakath's hiding spot, and when you have the scrolls in hand, go now, Midnight. You have your orders. We have to switch our crap again because he's stupid. Sneengers. Hmm. Dead end. Okay, you, I could have figured that out myself. Here we go. Come, Midnight. Put away your weapon and speak with me. Okuchino Kami, I have come for two reasons. I need the information from you, and I want the Shadow of the Wind Ninja Scrolls back. 
You're very... Oh, it's kind of weird that effect is <laughs> going on the text box. You are very forward, child. I can appreciate that. Let's begin with the information. What do you ask of a Kuchino Kami? A man named Drakav has come this direction. He has something else that I want. Have you, have your spy seen him? Prince Drakav? Yes, I have seen him. In fact, I sold him information only a few days ago. He paid well. You? You told him where it was? But well, why? If you knew the location, then you could have taken it yourself. I have my reasons. As a show of good faith, I will tell you where Drakav is for free. He can be found hiding, cowering, hiding, cowering in the fire caves north of here, near the coast. But I have more to offer you. For a price, I could make your work easier. I could set a trap for you, even return the orb to you. What is your price? The scrolls. The scrolls I worked so hard to obtain from the Shadow of the Ninja Clan. I have studied them for many years, and I just now. I am beginning to uncover the secrets hidden within secrets. There are magical arts hidden within these scrolls that Tython and his sad little clan have no idea about. Look at the scrolls here with me, and I will uh, lead you to Drakath and help you capture Tython's precious Jewel of the Four Winds. What do you say, Minnert? No way. No, you ask too much. I am a loyal ninja and I will accomplish my mission. You, no matter what, I leave here with the scrolls. Wrong. You will not leave here at all. This dickhead thinks he can take me out. He's a pussy, that's what he is. I'm gonna use this ice weapon because he's weak to it. There he goes, that was easy. Well done, ninja. You have the scrolls and the information. Drakath is hiding deep in one of the island's volcanic caves, awaiting rescue. Turn to Tython in the Shadow of the Wind village with this information and the long missing ninja scrolls. Walk through fire. A Kuchino Kami may be a thief, but his information is always good. Drakath hides in the volcanic caves near the northern coast of the island. He must be awaiting rescue. There are many perils in that cave, but you have shown that you are a skilled ninja. Make your way through the cave and find the jewel. You have tracked him well, Midnight, and now you have him cornered. Be careful, a cornered animal is often the most dangerous. Good thing we can keep the ice weapon on. Does double damage to these. Awesome. Ow, it says lava things again. God damn it. You found a secret area. I don't remember this. I don't know if I've ever found that before. First time for everything. Why has he only got 100 health? I'm not complaining. You again. Yes, Drakath. Me again. You know why I'm here. Give me the wind orb. Why would you even be interested in it? You don't know how to use its power. I know more than you think, me nerd. Anyway, suppose it gives the orders for now. I cannot fail him. And I can't let you walk up this island with the orb. You can either give me the orb and run away, or I can take it back and let you crawl away. It's kind of weird how this cutscene has different dialogue depending on the ninjas or the pirates. You would have thought they'd just uh, copy it, but no, it's pretty cool. There is nothing that you could do to me that is worse than the price for failing to pulture. I have a feeling that you will be the one crawling back, crawling peasant. If you think you can take the wind up from me, then come and get it. Gladly. What's we get right again? Pretty much, I might as well just like spam him with my like normal attack. See, you can't beat him, but he can, but nothing comes of it. Rest in peace, mid nerd. There he goes. What? What was that? I I did nothing. The wind up. Such power. That was. Dragon magic. The orb is concentrated elemental dragon magic. And all the power is mine. It responded to my wishes. I felt it. And I totally earned you. Ah. For this power, you're no match for me. No one is. Not even Sepulchre. Ah. I finally beat you. Man, that felt so good. Look, look. 
my hands are even shaking a little. Now, to finish you with the orb's power. What? No, no, orb. Obey your master. Stop this. Finish Midnight. No. I can't let Drakath keep the orb. Or worse, let the budge take it from him. I have to get it back before Drakath finally finds out how to use that power. Perhaps Tython will know where the orb took him. Well, it seems that Drakath activated the wind orb and used its power against you, but it looks like he does not have control of that power yet. You have to get him before he figures out how to use that power. Lazulite Blade, level 32 stone, not bad. Jewel of the Four Winds. Well done, Minert. You have arrived just in time. Dracula has landed in the centre of the village. Let me know as soon as you have prepared yourself to face him and get the Jewel of the Four Winds. The villagers have never seen a stranger fly into our village before, and there were rumours of an army in the woods. Akuchi no Kami and his Sninja army marches southwards towards the village. We don't know what they want, but we have a man on the inside, Agent 58, the master of disguise, hides visible among their ranks. He has agreed to help us. If he can do so without breaking his cover, still, with flying men and Sninja armies on the move, the villagers are panicked. As their leader, I must go and assure them that all is well and get them to a safe distance. I leave a, a Kauchi. <laughs> I leave a Kuchi no Kami in Drakath to you, ninja. Go now, and retrieve the Jewel of the Four Winds. I should have maybe been the ninja and the pirate for this section of the game. It would have made sense. Work. Work, you stupid orb. Work. I command it. Take me from this place. Why have you brought me here? Why won't you let me leave? When will you learn? The wind orb isn't yours, Drakath. You again? Well, no matter. This I will destroy you. You've seen it. The orb's power. And that power is mine now. The wind orb belongs to the people of this island now. I won't let you use its power against them. I'm not sure that what happened before Drakath, why the orb protected you, or why it brought you here. But this is the end of the road. Hand over the orb. No. The orb knew that I was the rightful fuck. It cannot be chance that after years of fighting on the island, it was I who finally came to possess the orb's power. I am the rightful king of this land, and the orb will grant me the throne. You may have defeated me in the past, but this time I finish you. And we're done. That was easy. As always, with Dragathel oh, Fate 2. Nice. No, defeated again. This cannot be happening. I hate to say, I told you so. Drakath, actually no, I don't. I told you so. The orb's power is never yours. It is mine. Let's pick up the orb and launch like a little mini tornado right up his asshole. <laughs> You'll pay for this disrespect, my nerd. I unlocked the orb's power once and I'll find a way to do it again. No, Prince Drakath, I have allowed you to believe that you were the orb's owner for too long, I believe. <laughs> Master of Disguise, you are kind enough to bring the wind orb once before. For that, I must thank you. You see, even though I have lost the sacred scores of the village, I had only unlocked their secrets. The wind orb was the key. Drakath. While you slept safe in my camp, I used the wind ninja magic to unlock a portion of the orb's power. I was able to give the orb magical instructions. I told the orb to make his way to this village on this night and let nothing stop it. Then, Drakath, I let you simply leave my camp with this. I knew that the safest place for the orb was Drakath. As long as he, as on the run from you, Midnight, the orb would be protected. Now, the time is right. On this night, the scroll said that the Jewel of the Four Winds can be used to summon Honda, the car company, the Iron Fisted Giant. Now that I've gotten the wind orb, he does shadow the wind village. On this night, he shall arrive from his slumber. With the Jewel of the Four Winds, 
I will be able to control this creature and use it to destroy the very ninja village that it was meant to protect. But I will not stop there. With Honda, as well as the other secrets that I have uncovered from the scrolls, I will no longer have to sell information to the highest bidder. I will have all the power and um, all will bow before Kuchi no Kami. <laughs> what? Which one of you did that? Maybe the really tall one. I didn't see. Me neither. It happened too fast. Did anyone get a look? I think it was Steve. Get him. Not now, you idiot. Dolts. The loss of the orb doesn't concern me. I will have the wind orb back as soon as I get into these two. Without the orb, I will not be able to control the Honda. I'm not even certain if he has been awakened. The skills I learned from the scrolls, while they were in my possession, will grant me more than enough power to destroy the village. And everyone in it. Go, my Sinjo army. If the spell waits and Honda is awakened, lead him here. By the time that you return, I will- This guy does not shut the fuck up. It, by the time that you return, I will have the orb again. Minus will lay dead on my feet, and Tithe and his ninjas will answer to Honda. I cannot believe that you have paid me, me so much disrespect, Akushin Akami. This will not be forgotten. Drekath, you do not understand. You will never be king. The power is hidden with the ninja scrolls is stronger than you could dream of. Oh man, now, prepare yourself. You may be a coward, but I am giving you a chance to die with honour in battle. Actually, I have other plans. The supposer will hear of your betrayal, dog face. You're going to vanish and leave me to fight this guy alone, aren't you? You know me so well. That guy's such a jerk. He's not my favourite person either. But he was a paying customer. The days as an informant peddler will be over. Just as soon as I end you, Minert, Tython's most, most powerful and promising ninja. It will never happen. Let's see what you have learned from the shard of the wind. Fuck, scrolls, I don't care. You too much, too much dialogue. It's annoying. And dead. Minert, I'm in debt to you. The entire shadow of the wind clan is. You have saved us all and returned our honour to us. You returned our stolen scrolls, defeated the thief, stopped our village from being destroyed, and stopped Akuchi no Kami from using our own ninja skills against us. If he was awakened the Iron Fist Giant, we will deal with that when the time comes. All that matters now is that our village is saved. The clan is at your command. If you ever have any need of our help, every man, woman and child in this village will come to your aid. You have proven yourself to be a capable and loyal ninja of the Shadow of the Wind clan. You honour us with your friendship. You have our eternal respect and our eternal thanks. You did it. You saved the Shadow of the Wind village from Akuchi no Kami and the stolen ninja scrolls. You are the new hero of the Shadow of the Wind clan. Yes, I am. You best remember it. Ew. <laughs> That looks terrible. I saw Honda's Accord. Minute, we may not be done with this fight yet. The villagers are reporting strange noises from the woods to the west. Go and investigate the disturbance. It's probably the rem remnants of the Stinja army. But be prepared for anything. Cutscene. Big man. Minert, our worst fears are confirmed. Honda, the Iron Fisted Giant, long time guardian spirit of this village, has been awakened. Honda has been regarded as the guardian spirit of the Shadow of the Winter Village. But we thought that he was that all he was a spirit. Fuck. It is clear that we have forgotten much of what our ninja scrolls have to teach. If we survive, I will dedicate my life to unlocking these skills. Somehow, Kuchi no Kami used the Jewel of the Four Winds power, commanded the spells hidden within our scrolls, to awaken Honda. 
and ten this guardian against us. All of the clan ninjas have returned from their missions to protect the village. But I do not think it will make a difference. Even with the combined power of the clan, we will not be able to stop him. Honda will only fall to the might of the Dragon Lord. Minnert, you and Draco must stop him. You are the true ninja of the wind, Minnert. The future of this clan is in your hands. Yes, it is. Giant kind. Immobility 50. That's perfectly fine for me. So stunned him anyway, look. He's stunned. It's like the, the dragon stun is like really hard to avoid. Because it hits twice as well, so it's... It has to like go through the 50% number of hits. That was easy. Awesome. 800 dollars. The Shadow of the Wind Village has been saved. You and your dragon are more than a match for the Iron Fisted Giant. You have saved the village twice in one day. That's gotta be a record. Alright, so I'm gonna skip this last little quest. So if you if you really want to watch it, go back and watch my last video. The pirate section of the game, I played it in that quest and the quest is exactly the same, so I don't really see a point in playing it again. Either thanks for watching though. I will see you all in the next one. Oh, I never went I always like to go through what I'm doing next. Okay, so we have this section is a bit weird. The Rise of the Dragon Mage like comes here in the timeline. But there is a couple of references to like part future um sections. They're not really big references, but I just feel like it means that they're not really in that time period yet. But either way, so I'm we're gonna be doing the Necropolis next. I really want to get my Paladin class, so I think it'll be a good time. And then I'm going to go back and do the Bacon Origins. And then we're going to continue with the rest of them. So either way, thanks for watching. I will see you on the next one. Goodbye.